clay in I may you get clay in I am so excited to be back here again today and um, I hope everyone is doing good I hope um, you are waxing strong I hope um, you have your gaze is still fixed on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I hope that you are prevailing on every side um we all know the season that we are in we are in the season that we celebrate christmas in commemoration of the birth of our lord and savior jesus christ and um, i just want to use this opportunity to um say to someone who's watching me right now that um as we celebrate the season jesus christ is the reason for the season and at the same time Think about you as special to God. Think about you as unique. Think about you as um, someone who is eternally loved by God um, because it is the love that God has for you that made him to give his son Jesus Christ for you and for me to die, shed his blood for the remissions of, um, remission of our sins. So um, it's let us um, know how much we mean to God, how much um, importance you know God attaches um, to our lives, and um, how much um, God um, cares about us for Him to have given His Son Jesus Christ to die for our sins and to um, shed His blood on Calvary for. The remission of our sins. So, um, I just want to um, remind us that God is a covenant keeping God. His covenant with you can never be broken. The covenant that God made with you is an excellent one, is a, a, a far better covenant than the covenant He made um, with our forefather Abraham, which was based on circumcision. And um, I want you to know that God never breaks his covenant. And um, that covenant that he made with you can never, ever be broken. It cannot be destroyed. It cannot be reversed. It cannot be changed. It was made with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. When God made the covenant you know, with you, um, he was just, just not kidding. He was... Um, not playing games in other words he chose you know to give up his own jesus christ for you because of how special you are to him so walk in this consciousness in the season of christmas that jesus christ is the reason for the season and that is why you are who you are today because it is the blood that was shed on the cross of calvary that made a way into um, god's holy presence for you and for me it is that blood that was shed that covenant that was made that made a way for us to be able to dig to stand in the presence of God and to say Abba Father it is the covenant you know that was made with the blood of Jesus that made a way for us to be able to call ourselves sons and daughters of the living God it is because of that blood that was shed on Calvary the covenant everlasting covenant that God made with us with the blood of Jesus through the blood of Jesus that made a way for us to stand in the holy place. In other words, we can boldly enter into the holy of holies today because of the blood. So that blood is speaking for you even right now as you are watching me in this season and beyond in 2021. The same blood is still speaking out on your behalf. The same blood of Jesus Christ is, you know, reaching out. In every area of your life, the blood of Jesus is speaking out, is reaching out and, and making all things new in every dimension of your life. So walk in this consciousness that the covenant that God has made with you is an excellent one. It is a covenant that is for eternity. It is forever. I want us to quickly go to um, the book of Matthew chapter 26. Um, verse 28 but before we do that i want us to quickly go um to the book of 
um, Genesis 17. Let's see what it says. Genesis 17. So, Genesis 17. Let's take it from verse 7. Okay. It says, And I will confirm my covenant with you. This is God saying to Abraham, I will confirm my covenant with you and your descendants after you from generation to generation and this is the everlasting covenant i will or covenant i will always be your god and the god of your descendants after you and i will give the entire land of canaan where you are now as foreigners as in where you are living now as foreigners to you and your descendants it will be their possession forever and I will be their God. Then it goes on to say, Then God said to Abraham, Your responsibility is to obey the terms of this covenant. You and all your descendants have this continual responsibility. In other words, it is the responsibility of Abraham and his descendants to keep the covenant. We are talking about the old covenant and remember now we are in a new covenant because of jesus christ so then god was trying to make abraham understand that this covenant that i am making with you you have the responsibility you and your descendants you have the responsibility of keeping the covenant that's to let you know that god is a covenant keeper he never breaks his part of the deed. God never breaks the covenant that he has made with you. He keeps to his own part of the deed. So he says, okay, he says, you must, okay, um, you and all your descendants have this continual responsibility. Verse 10 says, this is the covenant that you and your descendants must keep. You must keep. He says, each male among you must be circumcised. That's to let you know that the covenant that God made with Abraham and his descendants was that of circumcision. Every male child that was born at that time and after was circumcised in the flesh. So that covenant was made on with the circumcision of the flesh. Now, we see in the New Testament Jesus Christ being made a high priest. Hallelujah. We see Jesus Christ, you know, doing what? Shedding his precious blood for you and for me to do what? For to reconcile us back to God. He shed his blood for the remission of sins. He shed his blood so that humanity can be saved. He shed his blood so that we can be um called sons and daughters of the living God. He paid the price on the cross by shedding the blood. The blood that he shed on, on Calvary was what the deal. That was the seal. He sealed this new covenant with his blood. So God, like I said before, was not kidding when he gave his son Jesus Christ because this was going to be an everlasting covenant that cannot be abolished. This was going to be a covenant that would be permanent forever and ever because he was using the blood of his son to do what? To cut this covenant with you and for me. So it is that we are talking about the precious blood of the son of the living god who is god himself so how precious is that blood that was shed for the atonement of our sins glory be to god we are no longer under the domain of sins we are no longer under the domain of darkness we are no longer slaves to sin by reason of the blood covenant that jesus made with his blood God is a covenant keeping God. The covenant that he made with you will speak for you even from now till the end of time. That same covenant that he made through his son Jesus Christ, that covenant can never be abolished. It is a permanent one. It is an everlasting covenant. It cannot be abolished. It cannot be erased. It cannot be reversed. It cannot be changed. It is sealed and forever. Glory be to God. Thank God for your life. Go ahead and celebrate you even in this season. That God loves you so much to do what? 
to send his only son jesus christ to die for you for the remissions of, of, of your sin he spilled that blood on calvary he shed his blood for you for the cleansing of your sin to cleanse you from iniquity to redeem you from the cause of the law so i want us to quickly go to the book of hebrews let's go to hebrews chapter 7 from verse 14 let's see what he says before we go to the book of matthew so the book of hebrews um, chapter 7 okay let's see from verse 22 what it says okay it says by so much more jesus has become what a surety of a better covenant he says by so much more jesus has become what a surety of a better covenant but if you read from verse 20 he says and in as much as he was not made priest without an oath he says for they have become priests without an oath all the other priests any other priest that was known at that time was made priest without an oath but he said he with an oath by him who said to him the lord has sworn and will not relent in other words god has sworn and he will not relent in other words god has spoken he will never withhold his words god has said and he will never change his word god has spoken he can never take back his words he swore and said you are a priest forever according to the order of melchizedek then he goes on to say by so much more jesus has become a surety of a better covenant glory be to god we have a much better covenant than that that was made in the in the old testament in the in the time of abraham he says also there were many priests because they were prevented by death from continuing but he because he continues forevermore in other words jesus lives forevermore he is still alive and he's reigning in eternity has an unchangeable priesthood therefore he is also able to save to the utmost those who come to god through him in other words he has the power to save he says, since he always lives to make what intercession for them. In Christ Jesus, we have a more excellent uh, covenant. In Christ Jesus, we have a far more better covenant. Hallelujah. That blood is speaking for you even right now. That blood is speaking for you, your household, speaking for whatever you are doing right now. That, that blood is speaking in every dimension of your life, in the area of your health, in the area of your job, in your family, speaking for your kids, speaking for you, hallelujah, speaking in the area of your three finances, speaking in the area of your destiny, in the area of your purpose, what God has proposed for you to do in life, hallelujah, that blood is speaking on your behalf. Let's quickly go to the book of Matthew. 26 hallelujah so let's see what um matthew 26 or we'll take it from verse 28 it says this was jesus christ during the last supper when he was um having the last supper with his disciples he said something to them he said for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for many for the remission of sins hallelujah this is my blood of the new covenant this is a new covenant that God is making with you today for the remissions of your sin for the whole world. He was making to make them understand that it's a new chapter, it's a new dawn. A new covenant is here. The old covenant has been done away with. Now we have a new covenant with God, in which was done with the blood of Jesus, which was sealed with the blood of Jesus. A far more excellent covenant than that of circumcision so today i want you to walk in this consciousness that the blood that jesus christ shed on the cross of calvary has made you worthy that blood brought about the remission of sin you are free from the dominion of sin you are free from the domain of sin you are no longer a slave to, to sin because of the new covenant god is the covenant keeping god he never you know um breaks his covenant with his children he never you know 
um, when he says a thing, he keeps to his words. He's a promise keeper. So today, I want to leave you with those words, even as we celebrate this joyous season, even as we commemorate um, uh, the, the, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, remember that there is something about you. You are unique. You are special. You are born for a time like this. The covenant that God made with you is a far more better covenant than that of circumcision. You have been bought with a price. The precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are born of the Spirit of God. You are washed. Hallelujah. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Sin has no power over you anymore. You are a child of the living God. Hallelujah. So celebrate the season walking in this consciousness. I am leaving right now with a, a song from... Um, Jimmy the Psalmist, hallelujah, God bless you, brother Jimmy, you are a wonderful person, and thank God for your ministry, you are affecting lives with your music ministry, God bless you, sir, I am leaving you with a video, it's all about the covenant keeping God, it, this song has been a blessing to me, so I want to share it with you, and it just makes me think about the love of God, how God will always be there, how God never fails, how God is unchanging, how God is unfailing, how God is awesome. God bless you, my brother, my sister, and thank you for watching this video and for listening to my message. I pray that every word that I spoke right now will touch someone to the glory of the Most High God. Bye-bye, and I love you. See you in my next video.